So one of the things that Dave and I do, and I just realized we kind of did it naturally without ever explaining it to anybody, but we always pair a treat with petting. So for instance, I give Tusa a treat and I will just pet him on the head. And the reason we do this is um, he's not actually very cuddly or snuggly at all. So when I give him a treat, I know that he's not gonna bite or anything because he's occupied taking treat. It also helps pair um, petting with a positive thing such as the food. Good job, buddy. Um, so a lot of the times I will literally just, and, and to tell him I'm gonna do it, I do this, pet him, and then I can give him a treat. So if you need to start here where you give a treat and pet at the same time, maybe I can do this this way so you can see better. That's what I'm doing. And then you can get to the point where no treat, I go, pet, give a treat. Um, and it just kind of pairs this positively because he's not usually into the whole thing. So, wait. Change it up a little bit. So he realizes what I'm going to do. This is my signal for I'm going to pet you, or that is my intention. I would like to. And then um, you can see from the body language. He allows it by um, putting his head more flat or straight versus his beak facing up to bite me. So again, you can give him a treat and pet at the same time. And always the treat first, the petting second. And then it can grow to being like this. Good job, buddy. And you can make it longer and longer as you want. 